Let's say you're really confident in the card game Uno, and you believe that you could win against any opponent. That is, until one night you go over to a friend's house and play with a new group, and their set of rules is different than what you're used to. Now it's been two hours and you haven't won a single match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is my personal experience with Jets in War Thunder. I'm sorry for using Uno as my analogy, I just didn't know how to explain the difference in propeller and jet-based aircraft. Some of you veterans out there in the sky might have had a smooth transition from propeller to jet, but I have been struggling with this transition for months. Welcome everybody to the church basement, my name is Remington and this is the story of how I relearned to fly in War Thunder. The first jet fighter that I ended up getting my hands on was the F2 H-2 Banshee. This naval aircraft has the ability to drop bombs as well as go toe-to-toe -to -toe with most jets in its era. Which is why it was so frustrating to lose every encounter in the sky. Before I received the Banshee, which was a 7.3, I had been maining the Bearcat, which was a whole tier lower at 6.3. It wasn't uncommon in 6.3 to see a jet by getting up-tiered, but with the Bearcat I was comfortable. When it comes to War Thunder air battles, I like learning through trial and error. I don't want to look up a tutorial on how to fix everything. And one of the first fixes I learned was keeping my speed up. If you're moving too slow in a jet in War Thunder, you're going to be susceptible to machine gun fire, missiles, or just straight ramming. Which is why it is so, so important to keep your speed up. I like to keep mine above 700 if possible. But of course, speed isn't the only issue here. I got tired of not having an afterburner and decided to buy the F5C Scotia Tiger. Now this really threw me in the deep end and made me learn real quick. Every dogfight is a dance between speed, altitude, acceleration, separation, turning speed, flare deployment, missile placement, and of course, visibility of your opponent. If you plan on dominating the skies of War Thunder, you need to be able to cycle through these 8 aspects quickly and effectively. Instead of explaining what I learned out of these 8 aspects, I'm going to show you some ups and downs for my training. I don't think I can beat that. Especially with my... What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, I suck. One of is the gun! Oh my gosh. I actually hit him, though. That's... Ha! Huh? Frick it. I gotta try at least. That's not going to reach him. Oh, oh shoot. It's going to hit me. All right. Cool. Two missiles hit me. Come on. Come on. I can pull this off. There. Hit him. Oh, that was cool. Let's scare him and then let's just minigun him. No trouble. Now we pull up. Hold on, I'm not giving up on the Harrier. I'm going back for seconds. Oh, I got him! Oh my gosh, I got him! Come on, let go. Let go, let go! No! Somebody else just got him. Aircraft destroyed? Are you kidding me? That would have sucked if I'd fired. I can probably get away with it. I'm gonna go for it. Come on, hit him, hit him. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Severe damage. I'll take it. Somebody sees me. Aircraft destroyed! Okay, perfect. We're off to a good start. There's a little bit of a dance. I don't know how to do this kind of stuff. I don't know how to dance! 
Yeah, I don't know how to dance. Okay, that's another thing. I have no idea how to outmaneuver. Lock him and... Oh! Bro's running. I'm out of freaking guns! Woo! Nice try, fatso! Hit the earth. Woo! Okay, sorry. <laughs> that required a lot of focus. I'm not out of this yet. I'd say my biggest weakness right now is getting my missile to hit the target. I'm just now learning that missiles can only turn so much despite being fast. Think of it like a car trying to take a turn too quickly. It's going to miss and slam into the wall. The same is true for when you fire your missile. You have to make sure that it has the capability to turn and hit the target. As for the other seven attributes, I'm pretty bad at all of them. In fact, I need more experience overall, which is what I'm going to be getting back to right after this video. Thank you for watching up until now. This video has helped me vent some of my frustrations and learn what I've been doing wrong. So I'm going to leave you with some of my best moments from my training. That might be a little tight. Oh my gosh, I'm so good. Oh, I just dropped my missiles on accident. <laughs> Got him. Uh, Bye, nerd! Freaking auto-locked! Oh my gosh, I auto-aimed that kid. Right there. Oh, I got one coming out. I got him. Me. I hit him. He's on fire. I got one, co I got one coming out. Aircraft destroyed. I got him. I got him. I didn't even get hit. I hit him. Oh, I just... I got him ready, Roaches. Yeah. Hit him with the missile anyway. Okay, I'm gonna save the rest of my ammo. He's gonna fall. Wherever he is, that guy who's fallen. But, uh, the yeah, aircraft is right. I spent yeah. all that time to just get hit in the mouth. Oh! Front aspect radar missile. It was me. I got him. Oh, I got him. That was cinematic as frick. No, not the missile. Let go of the missile. Kill him, John. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's got no wings. He's dead. Okay, hear me out. Right? Hear me out. We go straight up. We do an Immel Man. Aircraft destroyed. Nice. I'm alive. I'm alive. No, I'm good. I might actually get this kill off. Nope. I'm going to wrap up with a quick devotion. Today's verses come from Matthew chapter 5, verses 11 through 16, which say, God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Be happy about it. Be very glad, for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way. For you were the salt of the earth. What good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. So if you are a Christian or profess to be one, let your light shine for everybody to see so that people will glorify God for how you act. Thanks for watching.